My name is Colin Campbell. I'm the Student Bar Association player, President for the class of 2014. And as is tradition for law, I will begin with a traditional uh, court beginning. So may it please the faculty, <laughs> fellow cloud colleagues, visiting friends and family. It takes just a quick look around for me to realize that in the audience and on the stage, that I am the, by far, least qualified person to speak to you today. <coughs> I am not a uh, magna cum laude. I am simply and humbly your Student Bar Association president. So believe me when I say, I thank God for his grace. And it is truly an honor to get to stand here and speak to you today. So to my fellow colleagues, congratulations. Your hard work and accomplishment has paid off. And I am so glad that today we get to celebrate your achievements. To visiting friends and family, congratulations. I am so glad that today we get to celebrate your accomplishments and your achievements through your students, through your friends, and through your sons and daughters. My speech is supposed to be about reflections, and it, that's actually a difficult thing to do. I don't normally have a hard time coming up with things to say, but I realized that if I reflected too specifically, this speech would just be about some inside jokes that only a handful of my friends would get, and everybody else would chuckle nervously along. If it's too general, I would run out of things to say. I mean, how often can you really say, it is what it is, roll tide. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of reveling in anecdotes or settling old scores, I want to just convey a message to you, because if this is my one chance to do it, I want to make it something significant. Often we're told at the law school that we want to change the world. And after reflecting, here's my conclusion. That if we want to change the world, if we want to reestablish the rule of law to its Judeo-Christian foundations, if we want to change this nation, we have to recognize and realize our limitations. And that's a strange thing to speak about on this day, and I understand that, so let me explain. There's a silly story. It's about a storm that washes these starfish up on the shore. It's about 5,000. And a man walks along the beach, and he sees another man, ankle deep, just furiously throwing these starfish back into the ocean. And the man walks up to him, and he says, what are you doing? There are thousands of starfish here. You'll never make a difference. And I can just see this guy's response, the, the, the starfish thrower's response, because I'm sure this is how it happened. He probably just reached down and didn't break eye contact, grabbed one, threw it in the ocean, and said, made a difference to that one, punk. <laughs> and so usually the story, it stops right there. And the moral lesson that we draw from it is that one man can make a difference. I'm not here to tell you that that's not true. I believe that to be true. But because our mission is so big, because we truly want to change the world, we have to recognize our limitations, and we have to draw that story to its logical conclusion. It's silly, but logical conclusion. Because if that man's goal was to empty the starfish back into the ocean, he did a very poor job. See, at the end of the day, probably when his rotator cuff had given out, there are still thousands of starfish dying on this beach. And what this man suffered from was a failure to innovate. A failure to pick his head up. He suffered from self-righteousness. See, he didn't realize that there's probably some liberal group down the way that cares about starfish just as much as he does. <laughs> and that if he just gets one person to help him, his efforts are doubled. My point is that our starfish thrower walks away from his work 
thinking that he's done a job well done when he didn't. You cannot relish the self-righteousness of your struggle. You must recognize and embrace your limitations. And once you realize them, reach out. My brothers and sisters, we are not just colleagues. We are truly family. And when we reach out into that community, that's when we make change happen. My one prayer for you, for all of you, is that you realize that you are not alone. And that if you want to change the world, or maybe try something a little more manageable to start off, I want you to know that we are here for you. The Lord has brought us this far. He has formed this class. He has forged us together in the crucible of law school. And I am so excited about what we have done and what we will do in the future together. Thank you for letting me be a part of your class for these last three years. Thank you for letting me be your friend. And in the words of our illustrious classmates, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Roll Tide. <laughs>